What are the positives? What are the negatives? You know, and waste is certainly going to be in that discussion. Well, decades of nuclear experiments and the Nevada test site now paving the way for a radioactive renaissance, a UNLV professor and a group of students figuring out how to turn nuclear material into stable waste. You're watching 8 News Now at 11. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. 8 News Now reporter James Schaefer explains their work of turning toxic material into something that can safely be used. Radioactivity, it's a dangerous problem that the U.S. government is asking a UNLV professor to solve the task to make uranium safe. In the U.S., there are 700,000 tons of spent uranium, which was previously used for enrichment and other government uses. The byproduct, something you probably don't want to touch. It's probably not the, the radioactivity that would get you, but the acid surely would. Dr. David Hatchett, a UNLV radiochemistry professor, was called five years ago by the government to see if his grad students could find a way to make the waste safe. We asked if they celebrated when the pale substance turned safe green. No, there was a, why did it turn green? <laughs> the patented way they developed opening the door for reuse of spent material, possibly to be stored at Yucca Mountain, but Hatchet says that's all hypothetical and you won't see the impact of this work right away. This technology opens up at least a discussion of, is there possible other pathways to recover useful materials? Right now, major change is dependent on if money can be made off of it, according to Hatchet, who reminded us his department cracked the code in the lab, not the boardroom. What were we asked to do, and does that produce something that society can benefit from? That's what this is. Now, Dr. Hatchet says the practical uses of this are still being discussed, which is good news for the water underneath the atomic testing range. <coughs> Reporting James Schaefer, <coughs> 8 News Now. Now, it's not just spent uranium the university is looking at. UNLV has also, in the past month, developed a patent on used lithium, a product which they believe will become vital for future breakthroughs.